Dear explorers, this is an invitation from the city of Antontis, the lighthouse of the Lagrange Network. Here at the dawn celebration, we welcome each and every one of you. Let's look back at the past and join hands in making the future. Before we start, please check out the first welcome gift from the Dawn Event Association. Now, let's pass through the Lagrange Gate and set sail for the city of Antontis. During the warp drive, we will also look back on the historical moments we have witnessed together during our journey. Since the signing of the Dawn Accord, countless pioneers have entered unknown galaxies for the first time to embark on courageous journeys of exploration. One after another, Lagrange gates were built with the efforts of the pioneers. Now the Lagrange network has finally rebooted. The hub star system of the Antonius Consortium was opened, and channels were built to access more star systems like Troit Crystal, Node Mutual Cooperation, and Data Rescue. Beyond our intense pioneering journey, we have also celebrated a series of festivals. From the Twin Festival, which celebrates the four light year voyage between the Earth and Proxima Centauri, to the Beacon Festival, during the Other Side Project, where countless beacons lit up the universe, to Earth Day, when warp bells echo throughout the network. Each of these festivals demonstrates the glorious treasures and humanistic heritage of the Lagrange Network. The emerging Lagrange nodes have brought the pioneers to the attention of more galactic factions. Among them, the Antonios Consortium, the Hayridden Clan, and Jupiter Industries have sent their own invitations and calls to the pioneers. The Individual Rating Agreement, the Prospector Agreement, and the Neutrals Agreement are therefore open to the pioneers. Each pioneer can now meet more opportunities and challenges with more diverse identities. As the exploration moves along, in the face of more dangers and challenges, the Earth Proxima Economic Circle and major galactic factions have opened up more blueprints and tech licenses. The introduction of auxiliary ships will help the pioneers cope with more complex situations and more dangerous explorations. To appreciate all the pioneers for your efforts in reconnecting the Lagrange network during the reboot era, Jupiter Industries has prepared a second gift. And now we're about to arrive in the city of Antontis, the main venue of the dawn celebration. Following the camera, let's enter the pearl of this garden star system, the famous financial center of the Lagrange network. You have entered the port, the city of Antontis. Welcome to the Dawn Celebration. First of all, the Explorer Cooperation Support Department of the Antonius Consortium will announce a series of Dawn data behind the achievements made by pioneers since the signing of the Dawn Accord. Since the signing of the Dawn Accord, pioneers have accumulated 9,229,744,823 prosperity points, a figure that represents the tireless efforts of pioneers in building the network. A total of 224,429,897 interstellar missions were completed, a figure that represents the pioneers' continuous drive for interstellar explorations. A total of 917,340,158 weapon techs were consumed, representing the intensive preparations for interstellar battles. A total of 415,149,011 ships were destroyed, a symbol of the pioneers' challenging spirit in star system explorations. A total of 52,462,203,952 units of Troid crystals were collected, representing the close cooperation of pioneers in the exploitation of resources. 
a total of 783,298 units of experimental data were rescued, a figure that represents the courage of pioneers in the face of danger. A total of 932 Lagrange gates have been built, a number that represents the strong determination of pioneers to revive the Lagrange network. It all comes from the courage to explore the unknown, a spirit that is rooted in our human hearts. So let's celebrate each other and cheer for all of us to the pioneers. 4.6 billion years, planet Earth, never once tried living the sun's orbit, while humanity never ceased to challenge our limits, to go higher, farther, faster, and deeper into the unknown. Pessimists will always warn the aspired to never take the road less traveled. For the road is treacherous and a fellow's await. And we should be thinking, what confines us is more than just gravity, yet we will always respond that the only thing that confounds us is our own imagination. We must search for a path untraveled. We must try, even if it ends in failure. We must explore for the sake of exploration. New operation created. Our brave pioneers. The gate to the unknown has been opened. And your journey begins here. Welcome back, Commander. To this day, there are still legends of pioneers in the Lagrange network, and now we will invite them to the celebration. In addition to those that are here with us, we also have pioneers from different regions joining via video. As well-known creators in the Lagrange network, the wonderful content they produced has accompanied countless pioneers around the world through one journey after another, turning the minute details of the exploration journeys into beautiful and everlasting memories. Now, here at the Round Table, let's recall some legendary stories of the Lagrange network.
Welcome back, Commander. Initiating warp drive module. Ready. New fleet created. Course set. Initiating warp drive module. Fleet standing by. Fleet composition updated. Engineering at your disposal. Fleet composition updated. Fleet composition updated. Copy. Fleet standing by. Engineering at your disposal. Engineering at your disposal. We would also like to thank all the explorers who helped us in the video recording and their story sharing. These stories will live forever in the LaGrange network. And for the later generations, 
they will be a vivid and interesting legend of the network. We believe that in the future, the LaGrange network will be better and more glorious, attracting more pioneers to the deeper depths of the starry sky. For the future of the LaGrange network, Antonio's consortium, the host, has sent a third gift. In the face of the uncertain galactic explorations ahead of us, multilateral cooperation and diversification have become the trend of human space exploration. The grange of diversity is a theme of this new era. More diverse identities, richer organizational structures, more challenging agreements, and more diverse trends of thoughts and changes are looming in the Lagrange network. Let's embrace the new era of Lagrange, Lagrange of diversity. Next, we will introduce the new diverse content and cutting edge technology in the Lagrange network to the pioneers. Stay tuned. First, there is a richer player structure, a massive upgrade and diversification of the union system. In the long years of pioneering, the Lagrange Network has witnessed the emergence of a variety of organizations. Some were born out of the diversity of thought, and some were designed to cope with the extremes of the universe. These diverse organizations have stirred up and generated many new forms of power in the universe. For the first time, we have made public to all pioneers the three organizational structures of clan, guild, and union. At the same time, we also introduced the advanced structure system of community. The clan, guild, and union can each take the lead in forming a consortium, legion, and alliance that can incorporate multiple organizations and participate in the star system development rating in the form of a multi-organizational coalition. In the future, the Lagrange Network will also offer more different organizational structures and functions under the theme of diversity, so that all pioneers can cooperate more closely and meet new challenges. We will also bring the gameplay of a new star system and agreement, Angulum Star System and Exploration Agreement. Angulum Star System is a vast triangular cluster surrounded by three stars. It has witnessed the once prosperous Sankram Chu Imperium route. There were endless commercial fleets, and majestic space cities kept rising from the ground. Nowadays, it has become a chaotic and dangerous area packed with disordered space warping parameters. High-speed stars and the ruins of the Empire are floating everywhere, and an exploration agreement issued by the Noma Shipping Group will attract great attention. Here, the legacy of the Sankram Chu Imperium, the mystery of the Angulum Cluster, and the story behind Noma Group's exploration agreement are all about to be staged in this beautiful and strange star cluster. There are many precious heritage resources distributed in the angular star system, most of which can be traced back to the period of the Sankram Chu Imperium, including a large number of relics, literary works, records of important events, and advanced scientific and technological materials. We will introduce the dynamic map in the angular star system, the space warping parameters in this triangular region are disordered. The high-speed stars, resources, relics, etc. in the star system will always be in a floating and moving state. And fleets will not be able to enter the warp drive state, which will bring new adventures. Players need to team up to enter the angular star system and prepare in the exploration camp established by Noma Shipping. At the same time, each player team will have access to a depot shared by all members for ship production and supply. We have also introduced the historic Lagrange legacy. Starting from the ancient Earth Day era, the Lagrange network has passed through tens of thousands of years. Countless generations have made lifelong efforts for astronautics and interstellar exploration leaving a treasured legacy of military tech and literary works for future generations. This legacy is a valuable asset in the Lagrange network, and a great amount of legacy is laid out in the network, documenting the pioneering pursuit and exploration of more distant star systems by generations. Some of this legacy document scientific exploration and breakthroughs. Some bear the fearlessness and challenge of adventures, some bear in mind the accumulation and breakthrough of technology, and others contain our ambition and vision of pioneering. 
in order for the tangible and intangible heritage to continue to be created and passed down in the star system. The LaGrange Legacy Bureau will open up legacy collection and identification to the pioneers. The items collected by the pioneers in the star system can be handed over to the LaGrange Legacy Bureau for appraisal and evaluation. The LaGrange Legacy Bureau looks forward to all pioneers gathering more legacy items from the star system, exploring and sharing the glittering history of LaGrange so that the past can look to the future and history can continue. We will introduce more strategic changes, long-range strike tech, the continuous innovation in research and armaments is also one of the main topics in the LaGrange network. The Arbiter Committee has been working closely with major galactic factions actively promote the opening up of more tech licenses and meet the new challenges faced by pioneers in their future journeys. The upcoming long-range strike tech is one of the technologies that the Arbiter Committee and the forces of major systems are about to open up for licensing. Fleets with aircraft technology will be able to release the aircraft and the escort corvette to strike the enemy fleets remotely while staying away from the battlefield. This new armament technology will help pioneers apply more sophisticated tactical designs and strategic planning while leveraging the different capabilities of aircraft and escort corvettes. This technology license agreement will soon receive its approval. Wait and see, pioneers! In the new year, we will focus on planets launching more diverse identity agreements, the Star Lander Agreement. In the long history of human exploration, the construction and development of planets is a topic that can never be avoided. From the age of digging caves on planets to the construction of the base on Mars, humans have developed one planet after another with high-intensity materials and rare elements as a foundation of industrial architecture. In this process, integrated planetary mining platforms allowed us to maximize the development and utilization of planetary resources. The first group of people to complete the construction of the planetary mining platforms are referred to by future generations as the Starlanders. Can this ancient profession re-enter the stage of history? In the coming year, the Lagrange Network will welcome more new identity agreements. Pioneers can continue to explore their positions and roles in interstellar explorations. Please stay tuned. In this new era of diversity, both the Twin Festival and the Beacon Festival will have new themes and stories. During the Twin Festival, more touching stories originating from the connection of Stargates will be shared with the pioneers, giving the festival a warm atmosphere that reaches every corner of the universe. The Beacon Festival will be a time for pioneers to look back and celebrate the achievements over the past year of exploration across the star systems. To wish the Lagrange Network a diverse future, please check out the fourth gift from Noma Shipping Group. Thank you to all the pioneers for your exploration and dedication to the Lagrange Network reboot. The increasing prosperous Lagrange Network will usher in a more diverse story and colorful future. The voice of Earth blooming in the flowers of the universe. We look forward to the future of the more diverse Lagrange Network and to witness more legendary exploration stories of the pioneers from their new journeys. The era of the diversified Lagrange has begun. With the theme music of the celebration, please accept our final gift. Please sail with it and continue to explore the new chapters of the Lagrange network in this new era.